Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Joseph Carroll. I write under the pen name J.R. Carroll and today we're going to talk about my May wrap up. But first I just wanted to say, you know, happy Memorial Day and, um, you know, I appreciate all the veterans and everything that you've uh, done for us. So let's go ahead and get into the wrap up here. If you've been paying attention to the channel, uh, you know that I've been diving into Stephen King. And with the first book, um, Cycle of the Werewolf, um, I kind of went into it and it was, you know, it was a decent book. Your standard uh, werewolf, nothing out of the ordinary, nothing groundbreaking, but it, uh, it was a great introduction to Stephen King if you know, if you're, you know, younger and you're just kind of wanting to figure out uh, what Stephen King's all about, if you're a parent and you're kind of like, you know, your kid's on the fence, like, should should you let your kid read uh, Stephen King? This is a good good place to start, um, and they'll get a feel of what Stephen King's style's like, and there's not too much graphic uh, stuff in the book that you, you know, would need to be worried about. Um, and then the next book I read by him was uh, Elevation. And a uh, great premise to this book, but he just um, went off on, <laughs> on a whole different, um, you know, thing with this book. And it just went down a path that just didn't interest me very much uh, at all. But we rebounded when I read his very first novel, and after reading Carrie, there was no doubt that he was going to hit it big. No wonder he, you know, started off so strong. I mean, just an amazing book all the way through. Love the way it was written. And um, then after that, um, I went into Cujo. And Cujo is a classic Stephen King. A lot of side stories and side planning and stuff but in the end it all meets in the middle and you're kind of like whoa okay I you know you kind of it takes a while but then you start seeing how they all come together um, at the end and the ending well, I was not ready for that ending that was uh, that was something else very um, you know I encourage anyone who's hasn't read Cujo it's not a long book and it's definitely worth worth a read and no wonder um, you know, no matter what anyone thinks about Stephen King's books or villains and everything, you know, this book doesn't get towards the top of the list a lot of times, but that is probably his most iconic character. You ask people who've never even seen the movie or read the book, and you say Cujo, and they're like, oh, a giant crazy dog. Um, so, great read, definitely worth doing. Um, then I read the first book in the Halo book series um, in conjunction with the ending of the first season of the show. And this is a super heavy military uh, book. It was enjoyable to kind of learn a lot of the backstory of Master Chief. Um, you know, and I actually think that even if you don't like, like if you don't like sci-fi or fantasy, but you're heavy into military, books, uh, military fiction, um, or if you're into military fantasy, I mean, this is, this is, would be up your alley. Um, definitely, uh, definitely worth a read, um, especially if you're a Halo fan. You, you, you gotta, you gotta know where it all started. Um, and then I read, um, you know, Richard Cadry's Sam and Slim. Now this was a reread for me and I just, it's just a fun time. Anytime, you know, I want just a fun, uh, you know, a fun guilty pleasure type read. I mean, that's that's Sam and Slim for me. So it was uh, definitely fun to to reread it, and I will be continuing on through this series. I'm gonna try to actually finish this series this year. I think he's like ten or eleven books. So we're gonna, you know, we're gonna go through the Sam and Slim books this year, definitely. And then. We had, um, you know, I'm starting my reread 
uh, of the Dresden Files, and I, so I read Stormfront, and I can't thank you all enough. Um, it, I it's one of my best performing videos. Um, you know, uh, a lot of support from, from you guys, a lot of Dresden fans out there, and I know I've been teasing this big discussion coming up on June 12th. I think in my next video, I will announce, you know, who's all going to be on there. Um, if you're, if you run in YouTube circles, you're going to know every single person, um, you know, that's on this, that's going to be on this panel for this discussion. It's, it's going to be fun. Um, and then there is Malazan, uh, Memories of Ice. So it's been, the, the, I mean, this book, I'm, I'm close to finishing it as a reread, but um, such a big book, um, and then to have all these other books read, um, and, you know, so this close uh, to finishing it again. Uh, but this was by far my biggest reading year, you know, of my life. Um, I think last year was probably the biggest reading year for me. I had like 20 books last year, maybe maybe a little bit more. Um, but, you know, eight books, one month, for me, that's unheard of. Um, you know, I try to keep a little bit shorter books, so I am able to get through a little bit more. But it's just, uh, it's been a, you know, crazy, crazy awesome reading month. Um, appreciate you know, all, you know, everybody, uh, I've slowed down my writing for the third book, um, you know, to get a lot of these books in, but I don't mind it because this has been amazing. You, I love all the interaction. I love, you know, so, you know, make sure you subscribe, like, throw comments. Let me know if you've read these books, if you're planning on reading these books, what your thoughts are on them. Um, you know, I'll have probably another video in before my book releases um, on Friday, June 3rd. So it's gonna be it's gonna be pretty uh, pretty epic and next month maybe just as big. So until next time, have a good day.